Capricorn, good morning. Welcome to your general reading. My name's Clive. You're watching Emery's Tarot. The only thing I have to say is please take the bits that resonate, leave the rest, because these energies and these readings, the energies in them are very, very fluidic, okay? They can emanate from you or come towards you. It depends on your particular, you know, physical situation. So with that said, let's get some messages for you. This is for the sign of Capricorn. disappointments but overcoming disappointments there is a decision here you have the queen of wands you have the ace of swords you have the knight of wands i'm kind of getting discovering the truth about somebody and it's leading to some kind of disappointments you're now in, in the midst of making a decision here you've realized that yeah the truth all right, you're getting truth and clarity either through communication or through intuition or through inspiration. But I'm kind of getting somebody is trying to re-enter your life. I'm getting here communication coming in. All right, but perhaps you realize within yourself that this can lead, not lead to commitment, but maybe just lead to a lot of fun, travel, experience. You know, there's a lot of passion there. There's a lot of attraction there. But... I'm kind of getting what you're doing is questioning, is that enough? Okay. I'm kind of getting that there's this per there's a history here between you and this person, but somebody here has been avoiding the truth about the situation. Now, whether this is you or them, okay, it doesn't really matter in that sense. But the, there is a change in energy here. There is a practical way forward the kind of the guidance here or energy between you is yeah we can sort this out okay i'm kind of getting the willingness to at least talk or give it a chance but looking for it's like looking for somebody is looking for a short term a quick fix it's kind of right like sticking a band-aid over an internal wound hoping that it will kind of temporarily alleviate the tension here because I'm getting tension there is an opportunity here that does require a lot of strength willpower courage now you could be dealing with a Leo okay or fire energy Aries Leo Sagittarius but if you are dealing with a Leo this will particularly resonate with you more but Please don't dismiss it if you're not dealing with a Leo and say, oh, I'm not dealing with a Leo. It's not, it doesn't include me. All right. But what I'm getting here is that there's a, there's an opportunity. Somebody here you perhaps feel is being very overzealous, very opportunistic. Okay. I'm kind of getting here the energy of picking up where, where, where they left off, but you're reacting to it in a much slower, in a much different way. I'm kind of getting you don't want to be rushed into anything. Wow. There is the judgment card here. Okay, somebody here wants to resurrect a connection. All right, which leaves you at a crossroads. Whatever your situation, it's, it's all about kind of, if I'm going to commit to this, I want to have some kind of surety that it's going to work out. At the moment, what I'm getting is, although on the face of it, you know, there's a very, very enthusiastic attitude here. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of drive. There's the question of, you know, impulsiveness. All right. But it's a question of resistance. 
All right. So I'm kind of getting you're trying to avoid the temptation to just jump in because that's what's happened before and it just keeps leading to this in and out very erratic energy. You're much becoming self-aware here. OK. And it's it's all about this is really is reading all about you on knowing what it is you want irrespective of those around you all right you are becoming self-aware you are being able to make a coming into the energy being able to make a very practical intuitive judgment call rather than a, an emotional one all right yeah and it's kind of like you're waiting till you're ready it's, you're not dismissing this, but you're not accepting it either. You, I'm kind of getting some of you are playing your time in 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 the fact of waiting till you're ready. Okay, there is some trust issues to overcome here. All right, there is the big temptation to go off on a new journey, perhaps relocate, travel at least. I'm kind of getting here explaining your absence justifying your absence well it's rather like yeah I don't want to commit yet but I want to test the waters but you don't want to do anything to self-sabotage what you've already built up the situation that you've already built up well Whatever their situation, they want to reconnect with you in some form with perhaps the opportunity to bring it to a much more stable situation, a much more committed situation later. But it's kind of like leaving your options open. Well, overcoming... Overcoming the opposition... Mm. I am getting for one or two of you there is a parental influence in this whether it's on your side of the person you're dealing with but there's a parental influence nonetheless okay and this person could even be married but they want you in their life they're coming forward they're not committing but it's not to say I'll never commit let's just see how it goes kind of attitude you don't want to give up what you've got or commit for six months down the road for this person to say, oh, this is not working out. It's kind of like both of you for different reasons are looking for some kind of assurance here. There's a lot of sadness here. All right. But there's a, I'm getting for some of you, there is a third party involvement. And this is like you're, you're at a fork in the road and the person you are with at a fork in the road, this is all about making a decision Yes, somebody here I'm kind of getting for one or two of you is going to get hurt. But from your perspective, it's unavoidable. Okay. I'm picking up here some some regrets. You just don't want to make any impulsive decisions here. It's it's a kind of a question of being making a, a decision based on, you know, a resolute decision. In other words, once you instigate it. There's, there's kind of this no turning back. Once committed, stay committed. Hermit. Mm. This person is a bit of a loner. All right. I'm kind of getting silence fell. There was a separation of parting. Excuse me, a parting of the ways. So that either you or this person could think about what's actually happening. Hmm. A lot of Virgo energy here as well now. Well, you're certainly grounding yourself for the moment. There's a lot of introspection going on here. Ace of Swords, Queen of Cups. Mm. It's kind of this love-hate thing going on. Well, it's it's in the past with this Ace of Swords here. I'm kind of getting there was there's love interests here, and it was it was extremes. It was on, it was off, it was on, it was off. Somebody here was kind of married. There's a parent involved. Okay, there could even be a child involved. All right, 
this is not your parents or their parents. I'm kind of getting this parental issues here. Perhaps, perhaps you are the person you're dealing with as children. All right, but there's there's a lot of there's a big big change in emotions here. Knight of Wands, Seven of Cups here. Yeah, there's a lot of confusion around this. All right, there's it's it's all about making choices and being resolute about those choices. Ace of Pentacles, there you are. Making the choice. Bring in the spiritual to the physical. And you're seeing the red flags. Okay, the, you are being warned now intuitively. All right, I'm kind of getting you are starting to listen to your intuition. All right, you could even be dealing with two different people here, a Virgo and a Capricorn. Three people here, Leo as well. So there's, I'm kind of getting this devil here is one of a lot of temptation. There's, mm, there's certainly a lot of passion here involved, but there's this feeling of trap being trapped. You don't want to put your soul. You, I'm kind of getting your energy as you're saying to yourself, well, I don't want to put myself in a position that I can't get out of and end up in kind of no man's land. Wow. There's also fear here. Mm. Your energy, you know, control, trying to control the issue. Okay. It's, this is, the emperor is taking, is all about responsibility. It's going to take an awful lot of strength, willpower, courage, you know, to take responsibility for your decision. Actually, the onus is on you. You are really the one in control. You're in control of your own life. You're not letting anybody else lead you, despite what any any pressure anybody else is putting on you. Okay, you're, you're getting control of your life. You're becoming self-aware, like I said. Judgment card, page of pentacles. Yeah, I'm kind of getting somebody saying to you, or the energy is there, maybe because of children or not, or I'm at a crossroads. You know, I want to be with you, but it's going to take time. I can't at this moment commit. There's some issues I have to work through to be able to commit with you. And what they're doing is they're leaving their options open. So it's kind of a suspended energy here, but you are becoming self-aware. And I'm kind of getting a lot of you are willing to make a self-sacrifice to... It's kind of like on a chessboard sacrificing the pawn to get to the queen. Okay, so it's a, it's a question of here of, yeah, it's making a self-sacrifice for the greater good. This hangman is not only a suspended situation, all right, but it, it is kind of a, a decision made to release a stagnant situation. So in other words, it takes an awful lot of strength and courage to do that. But either way, I'm kind of getting here the chariot moving on, beating the competition, beating the odds, okay, and recovery here. All right. For some of you, this is basically a, a decision between two situations, but whatever situation you let go of, it's old lifestyles, old people, you know, well, older, old situations people that's around you now all right this is a decision you're, you're literally at a spiritual fork in the road and it's a question of basically which way do i go i'm kind of getting intuitively you'll make the right decision all right and you know it's you'll reprioritize you're not in any rush okay you're working kind of a best plan of action. All right. But I'll be honest, you know, as a set outcome, mm, the opportunity is certainly there, but which way you'll decide, I'm kind of getting you won't know till, f until further developments. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching.